I take pride from coming from South Dakota. Um, you know the people there, um, Parks in South Dakota. I decided to stay back and uh, celebrate this moment with them, with my family. Um, you know, and uh, I had a blast. It was a, it was a great time last night. And, uh, you know, I'm very thankful the Detroit Lions drafted me. You said last night that you weren't watching TV. Did, did you watch the first 10 or so picks and say, I had enough of this, or did you never turn the TV on? No, I, I never really watched the TV until I got that phone call. Uh, did you follow any mock drafts or any of that stuff, though, leading up to the, leading up to the draft, kind of trying to plot where you might be? You know, I don't put much stock into that stuff. Uh, you know what, I told myself, whatever happens, happens, you know, make the best out of it and run. How many people were uh, with you in the shed hanging out? <laughs> There was about six or seven of us in the shed, but there was about 20 more people in the house. Can you explain why you didn't want to watch it, why you just wanted to stay away from it? Uh, you know, I, I was getting pretty nervous throughout the day and, uh, you know, um, just wanted to relax a little bit. What about the uh, the tradition of Iowa linemen? Can you talk about how, how your skills developed, uh, you know, under under their tutelage and, and just what, you know, you being the next in that long line of, of guys in the NFL is, means to you? Yeah, I think it starts, uh, you know, Coach Ferentz is a great coach. Um, you know, he uh, personally works with the offensive line. And, uh, you know, Reese Morgan was my offensive line coach. He did an excellent job. And uh, even our uh, strength coach, he does an excellent job working, uh, building kids, getting them stronger and stuff. Uh, you know, it's a great organization, um, college. And, uh, you know, I'm um, <coughs> proud to be an alumni from there.